today I'm going to be making some lemon chicken. It's a really, really quick and easy meal. The most important thing for you to do is to get prepping. That means get all of your ingredients ready before you start. So I'm going to start off with a cup of flour. I've got one pound of chicken breast. It's all cut up. I've got egg white. I've got some soya, light soya sauce here. And I've got this thing here. It is called rice wine, Chinese rice wine. I've got some salt. I'm going to be using some black pepper in the chicken. I've got three cups of brown sugar. I've got two, I've grated two lemon rinds. I got the on wax lemon. Two um, lemons. I've got the juice from that. I've got some stock here, chicken stock, half cup. I've got some two cloves of garlic. I've grated some ginger. This is just spring onions and some not it's not very hot some slices of pepper green red chili peppers not hot and that's going to be for my garnish sesame seed and today i'm not going to show you this but i'm going to be accompanying this with some sticky rice so that's all of the ingredients that you're going to need today make sure you've got your ingredients ready lemon juice you grated lemon i'm going to put it up anyway so you'll get all the ingredients in the drop box my next step is I've put some black pepper and some salt onto the chicken and I'm going to add the soya. Then going to add just the egg white, not the whole egg, one egg white, the white from one egg. And then I'm just going to add a splash of the white wine, Chinese white wine to splash and that's that. So I'll stir the mixture together and now I'm going to add the flour. I'm going to add that flour in there and then get mixing. Mix it. I'm going to put the, the camera down in a minute because I'm going to mix this with my hand. So that's what you're going to need to do. So we're going to mix it and I'll show you in a minute. Now what you're going to have is, your chicken looks a bit crumb, crumbly and that's what you want, you want that look and you're going to leave that for about, I cover it actually, I cover it and I leave it for about half an hour before I fry it. Okay so I've got the chicken out of the fridge and it's been sitting there for half an hour and whilst that was going I've got rapeseed oil because I like this if I'm going to fry. It's actually quite light. It's not as heavy as olive oil. And I've got my wok heating and I'm going to be dropping the chicken into there but I'm going to shake them all each time to make sure that I get any excess flour off of that. And I'm going to check to see if my pan is really hot so I'll be taking a little bit of flour. I'll be dropping it in there. It's not quite hot yet. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so my oil is hot now. I'll check that. And I'm going to be taking them up one at a time. And I'm going to be shaking them off. Shake them off. And I will let them cook for five minutes. Just five minutes. Each of those I'll cook for five minutes. And five minutes is up for those. And I'll take them out. And I'll rest them. Let the oil drain off of them. on frying until I'm completely finished. Make sure you bring the oil off. Go on. It's really important. So again, this is the last remaining of the chicken. Five minutes. I'm going to take this out again and I'm going to allow these to rest for a bit. Drain off any excess oil. And the next thing you will see is when I make the sauce, the lemon sauce, to go with this. Okay, so thanks for sticking with me. We're down to the final hurdle of this. So now the stock cube with water in there. I'm going to pour this in here. 
going to get that all out. I'm going to add some soya to that. So about a teaspoon of soya to that. I'm going to add the sugar that I had. And I'm going to stir that, give that a good mix. So I'm going to give that a really good mix. And we'll see what happens next. As you can see, the chicken is there. I'll mix my sugar, I'll let it dissolve a bit in there. And now I'm going to add a little bit of oil, not a lot, a little bit of oil to my wok again. About a tablespoon. And now I'm going to be adding the garlic and the ginger. The garlic and ginger is cooking off. Let that cook off for a couple of minutes, no more. You don't want to burn it, but you want to gently cook it. After that cooking, I'm going to show you what I've got here as well. Two tablespoons of corn flour. You can get that anywhere. And two tablespoons of water. That's going to go in at the very end. You'll see that. So whilst that's going, you smell the garlic really coming through here along with the ginger and then to that I'm going to add the stock and I'm going to cook that down for about three to four minutes okay my sh the sugar is all melted and now I'm going to pop the zest of the lemon in there. All going in there. I'm going to keep stirring that. And then I'm going to add, that's going to give it a nice tangy. That's your lemon juice. Two lemons that I've squeezed out. You can see the beautiful color. Keep stirring. Get that. We'll get the thickness with the corn flour mixture. Keep stirring. And then when I put that in, I'm going to put the chicken in at the very end. Okay, now it's time to pour in your mixture of corn flour. And that's going to give it its thickness. And now it's time to add your chicken pieces in. And just give it nice and you can see the nice gooey thick lemon sauce just stir it together i'll end my dish in a minute so here's the end product lemon chicken i've just sprinkled some the sesame seeds and garnished it with some lemon and the spring onions and some uh, mild chili peppers and you'll see in a minute i'm going to accompany this with some sticky jasmine rice Okay, so thank you for joining me again today. There is the jasmine rice with lemon chicken. I hope you enjoy making it as much as I do and eating. Take care.